here are eight different creepy videos hope you enjoy the first video i have for you guys is a clip sent in from blood moon paranormal the clip they sent in to me is actually pretty crazy here let me show you jay's got the door and he's got the eye the children sing oh what, what? The, the children, children sing. sing flashlight oh god they're afraid yeah you i'm moving it, it. Oh, the, the flashlight. flashlight. Good job. Can you have it roll? They're alive. They were they were saying they're afraid. They're turning on the light it's for us. It could be. Can you tell us if you're one alive? day? Okay. But it's cold over here. Yeah, I just got the chills too. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us if you're alive or not? Do you know that? Wait, is this thirteen percent? On the From thing. darkness. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming down the steps. And you go, you're going downstairs? Okay, hold on. Why is it literally said, is this thir is What's this it? 13 or 31? Let's see. Hmm? I don't is know it, which way it's supposed to fit. What's wrong? 13. Yeah. It was at, okay, then that means it there was, was a day that I had a wedding. Like seven when I turned it on. What is happening? Yeah, I think that's 13. But why was it at 7% then? Because the understand. 7 was on this side, I think. Are you affecting Sam right now? Either way, it went from 17 to 13. 7 to 13. Oh. Or it went from 7 to... What? Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? What? Oh my god. That just turned on. Holy fuck. That, and also, can I tell you guys, with those lights, the first click, it's one bulb. The second click, it turns them on. Were you guys hearing noises over here, too? Yeah, I, I, I was seeing the faces. Like, oh, let's just show this real quick. Knob, right here. Ready? Right? Knob? Mm -hmm. Yep. One that's bulb. one light, right? Yep. That's, that's all. All that's of it. Not even all of them. That's that's. That's all of it. Yeah, so like three times. here's off. This is where it was at. It skipped this, skipped this, and went all the way to this. That's dude, that's mind blowing. <laughs> I can't give you an explanation. Oh, I can't. Flashlight. The flashlight's oh, going off. My God. Wow, dude, that's amazing. Oh, that's See what I mean? That, that is just literally insane to me. Because it, it, I personally can't explain it. And I trust those guys enough to know that they really wouldn't fake something like that. And be able to just publicly put, post it, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's definitely crazy. And I've heard some things about Bill Manor too. That's one of the places that I'd like to check out eventually. Maybe sometime this year, we'll check it out. But especially after that, because now that makes me want to go and try and get that to happen, like right in front of me, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we have Tommy Tombstone. He sent in four or five, sent in four or five clips. So these next few clips are gonna be some stuff of Tommy's. I'm gonna try something. Ob, I'm gonna try something. Is it okay if I pick up your little mirror there for a second? Can I pick it up? All right, I'm gonna pick it up. I think that's a yes, right? All right. I think she's like, do not do that. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. That's Tommy. All right, I want you... You filming? Yeah. I want you to show yourself in this mirror, in the mirror behind me. Can you do that? I gotta find that one. Can I see you? Oh, that thing's going wild now. Are you upset that I picked up your the mirror? Dude, I feel really weird right now. I don't think she'd like you having that mirror in your hand. Okay, yeah. Can you oh, show yourself variant. to me in the mirror behind me? <laughs> I know you're right there. Right here in this room, right this minute. Can you 
come through this mirror. I was trying to create a portal for you to show yourself. I don't see you. Well, I know you're, you're showing that you're there, but I physically can't see you. She's like, I'm here. Holy shit, she's holding. You want me to put the mirror back? When she doesn't touch it. Liam. Yeah. Liam. What when she doesn't touch it, yeah. All right, I'll put the mirror back. I was just hoping I could see you. All right, I'm going to put it back. I would also like to point out that that was a mel meter or a mel rinks as the rim pod function. Those are actually pretty hard to set off. So that's that's pretty crazy. I've mentioned in a video before my mom has one of those and I've put it up by like light sockets and fixtures stuff like that like a light switch, electrical outlet stuff like that. And it's actually kind of hard to get that mel meter to like the rim pod function to go off. You have to like almost be touching it, touching it to get it to go off. But the next video is also from Tommy. Yep. You were, in fact, the one that killed one. <laughs> Dude, the whole time it was going on. Hang on. If you were, in fact, the one that killed someone in here, and you hid their body in the wall, can you make that ding three times? One, two, three. So ding, ding, ding. Was that three times? That was. Just three times. Ding, ding, ding. Just did it. Ding, yeah. ding, ding. Mm -hmm. That was three times. He did it the first time too. It was two fast ones. All right. One, one more time. One more time. Three times. Ding, ding, ding. That's the question again. If, stop for a second. Stop. If you were the one that hid the body in the wall and killed, killed, killed your wife, can you ding three times? Ding, ding, ding. Is that three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what else can I tell you guys? I think like, you got three better dings earlier than that. <laughs> Well, what else? What else is there to say, guys? Like at the end of that, that, that that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Well, that one was also pretty good. He definitely got the three dings. So I don't even know what to tell you guys. He don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you guys. Who knows what to tell you guys? One thing I do know is that I mean myself don't know what to tell you guys. So you have to find some out from somebody else. All right, and here goes another clip from Mr. Tombstone. This is a, it's a temperature sensor, so if, obviously there's something there, but if it's there, spirits usually have a cooler temperature, so it will light up the blue. John's seen this, it will go like, da -da -da -da, and it will light up blue. If there's a hot, like a hot temperature, it will, it has a red light and it will go off. Okay. I've never heard it make that. No, sound like a music bot, like a music thing. It did, dude. Do they want to sing us a song? Do you want... Do you want to sing, or...? Oh my god, dude. I just got, like, goosebumps. Look at that. Can you keep, keep playing us a song? Alright, that was, uh, that was actually pretty, uh, pretty crazy for real, you know? I mean, one could say that it is a malfunction, and it could be. It really could be a malfunction. But a malfunction making, like, a nursery rhyme melody, you know what I'm saying? No, man, like, that would be way too much of a coincidence. And, like, yes, it could still be a coincidence, a very big coincidence but it's one of the things where it's like you're gonna have to be reaching for the stars just to write that off as just some crazy coincidence like at that point you're just trying too hard to be a hater and just trying too hard to overlook what investigators are coming forth with possible paranormal evidence you know what i'm saying like of course when we go through this stuff we to us, it is proof of spirits and ghosts and what goes bump in the night. Shout out to what goes bump in the night. 
But seriously, we show this to you guys to try and show you guys that this stuff is real. And also mainly to prove to ourselves, which is why a lot of us do this also. It starts off with a question, you know, do, wait, you know, I can't explain that. Do ghosts really exist? That's pretty much how 98% of paranormal investigators start off is they have something happen to them that they can't explain. It uh, opens up a world of curiosity and they start going out and searching for answers. And then you have those that go off the wrong path and start trying to get rich and famous off of it and scream demons. And you have those of us that go further down the rabbit hole to bring you guys genuine evidence to try to prove not only to us, but also to you guys that this stuff very well could be real. And it's not really a joke. And that was pretty good. I've, I've never heard other than that video. I've never heard a spirit box do that. So that, that is a, uh, that is insane. Hats off to you, Mr. Tombstone. Very well done. Now let's look at the next one Mr. Tombstone has sent me. Is that not? What is this? Not some propaganda. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Look at this, folks. Oh my gosh. That's right where that book was. Oh, oh. Aren't we going? Here's Luxembourg. Anybody speak German? Was this a trophy? Ooh. Nice response. Wow. That's crazy. If you don't think things have attachments, I mean, oh, yeah. this is a uh, pretty remarkable. Attachments are a thing. People, places, and things, right? You can have a spiritual attachment to yourself. You can have a spiritual attachment to an object, things, or a place, which is why like uh, you go to these haunted locations and investigate them and the spirits actually stay there. It's because them spirits are attached to that building. I don't know, but at the same time, you also have things like spirits can follow you if that makes sense. They can attach themselves to you. That's, uh, that's pretty unlikely if that makes sense. We've been doing this stuff for a while and I'm not too sure if I actually have an attachment or not. I've been told by like psychics and mediums and stuff like that that I do have attachments and that I do have a fairly grumpy spirit attached to me but it like protects me or whatever kind of weird I only say it's weird because why would a grumpy spirit follow me around to protect me like wouldn't it just be trying to do grumpy things to me if that makes sense so I don't know but let's jump back in it and go see one of the other videos that Mr. Tombstone has sent in. Residual energy of a deceased loved one. I got what, a video you... of you, Evelyn. Wait, is it, is it a video? Yep. It's your grandson interviewing you. Let me introduce you to my grandmother. Evelyn Mary Grandpa Spiritual. Yes, that's a lot. Okay, Evelyn. How are you? I am fine. And how are you? That's her. And she died. So what did that? What year did that say? Eighty-nine. So this we is gave recorded in eighty-nine. She died in ninety-one. So Evelyn, is this you? That you talking about where you were born at Bronson Hospital, Kalamazoo, Michigan? What you say? Nineteen eighteen. Nineteen twelve. Nineteen twelve. See, because it's gonna have some of the recorder in there. I just want to see if you can hear anything besides that. Keep touching it. Because we found mm -hmm. the cemetery. There Holy shit. House up there. Okay, yeah. Apparently, that was her parents' house. But, I just got goosebumps. And dude. she died. So what did that mean? Holy shit, dude. I just got massive goosebumps. Who's doing that? Dude, I knew something was about to pop off because I saw the... This has been at zero, and then we started playing that recording and it started going 0.5. It was going up and up. And then at 0.7, and then we got a little bit of a rim. 
That was actually crazy. They're at the end. I don't know. It kind of seemed like something was messing with the slot machine. Am I right? Or am I just tripping? I guess this would be a good time to mention how if you guys would like me to do more of these videos, if you guys wouldn't mind emailing me, my email will be in the description below. But email me some short clips or pictures even. Pictures, audio recordings, little short video clips, anything of the sorts that you may think is paranormal and you'd like featured on one of these shorter like compilation videos and uh, get my input on it and get it put on the show but here we go let's go on to the next one all right so this next one happens to be from fts paranormal i'm gonna knock on the wall and i'm gonna i want you to finish it on the music box hold on hold on just a second i remember this it's at waverly hills <gasps> dude that's me back there Thank laughing you. <laughs> I'm gonna knock on the wall and I'm gonna f I want you to finish it on the music box. Hold on, hold on, just a second. <gasps> that was actually, uh, I remember that now. That was actually pretty good. That stuff was weird. That was uh, my mom's music box that went off too. At that time, that music box was, I'm thinking brand new. It wasn't used very many times. That was also pretty cool. That night at Waverly was wild. I know, I don't know if Braden's came out, but I do know our video from Waverly is up on the channel. I'm pretty sure it's a longer one because there was a lot of history to go over. And there's also a lot of false history going around amongst the paranormal content community. So I felt that it was important and necessary to do like a pretty deep dive into the history there's a lot of stuff that you guys probably already knew but there's also a lot of stuff that you guys didn't know because i didn't even know so much history about that place that i went over like the first just a fair warning the first 15 minutes is history but yeah let's uh check out the next one from fts there's one more are you playing make that device go off again for me I'll deal you in right now, just make that jump. I need to know you're playing. Oh, there it goes. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't deal you in last time. Can you step away from the device, please? Thank you. So what does he have? Am I gonna win? Why don't you come take a seat next to me? Guys, red. I'm not trying to leave. I think we're gonna go ahead and leave. You want us to stay? Talk into that device right next to that. Can you make that shut off, please? Can you step away from that device? Okay, and it shuts off. Thank you. Okay, and it shuts off. Okay, so that was actually pretty, pretty dope, if you ask me. A lot of uh, super crazy coincidences that obviously probably aren't even coincidences. Like, they asked for the spirits to stop touching the device and you hear on the spirit box say okay and then the emf meter stops spiking almost immediately that's pretty pretty wild this last one got emailed to me from somebody that goes by rosie hunts she said that they are a brand new team that's wanting to get into ghost hunting and they don't actually do videos yet, but they take like little small clips of their investigations, if that makes sense, before they actually start filming. And they sent this in to see, or basically ask for my input and whatnot on it. So uh, this is gonna be fun. 
so just keep in mind that they are brand new to this stuff but let's go ahead and just jump in and see it and i'm gonna give my uh give my input on it i'm giving them permission to leave this place hello a funeral was actually held here hello What would you say? Forget out. I had that. That's my shot. That's Christian. They told you they don't like me. I've got a fucking cross on my neck. Right, out we get them. Come on. It just said leave. All right. So I can't say anything bad because, after all, just because they have religious beliefs, don't mean that I shouldn't just completely discredit what they're trying to do but what i will say you have to try your best to try and go about paranormal investigating without bringing religion into it because spirits will actually feed off that to mess with you and you know just like you and i they have a humor stuff like that it doesn't mix well when you're out there trying to actually get evidence because if you go out with a religious mindset you're always going to think that whatever you are communicating with is automatically evil and a demon. Now, if that's what you want to do, if you want to be entertainment, then yes. Um, paranormal entertainment, there's a massive, there's more of a call for paranormal entertainment than there is for genuine paranormal research. We see it every day, people screaming demons and whatnot. That's not real paranormal, that's paranormal entertainment. They're using fear and religion to fill their pockets essentially and which is okay it, it is entertaining but at the end of the day that's all it is but if you want to be a genuine paranormal investigator you have to leave religion at home and try to go and use a logical mindset and understand that spirits will mess with you they're not all bad now i'm not going to say they're all good i still believe they can affect you sometimes i'm not telling you not to be religious you have the right to believe in whatever you want to be but you can, you know, bless yourself, do what you feel you need to do for protection. Just understand that demons aren't everywhere. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you liked the video, please don't hesitate to like the video. And while you're down there, guess what's by it? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's right by the like button. And that'll help boost this video and get it out so more people can join this amazing community that we are building here on this channel. And here lately, the algorithm has been kicking everybody right in the ass no one knows what's going on with it i don't even think youtube knows what's going on with it so the more you guys run the likes up the comments up and views up stuff like that the more of a reason youtube has to push it into the algorithm and we can really see if the algorithm is broken or not but appreciate you guys once again thanks for stopping by and see you in the next one